bugaboos, jumping straight into the video, here's my package from Wiggins Hair. It comes with a wig band, some lashes and a wig cap, and a silk satin bag to put the wig in. When you receive the hair, it does come in this plastic. I got the 24 inch kinky straight V part wig in a medium cap size. When I tell y'all this hair is so thick and full, it feels like 250 density and I can honestly say this hair is thick from root to the end. Usually when you get long lengths like this, it starts to thin out towards the end, but this hair isn't. It's really full. It comes with combs and clips in the inside so that way it's secure. Here's the true texture that I'm showing you, which is so perfect for 4C hair. It also has this elastic band for extra security and you just slide it on like so and throw it on as if you were to throw on a regular wig totally optional but i recommend wearing it because you can adjust it now let's get into the foundation of the hair what you want to do is section off your leave out so the v part wig isn't that long which i like so that means we only going to have to take out a little bit of hair for leave out which is perfect because i hate leaving a lot of hair out especially around this time it's summertime my hair gets puffy i get hot so i like to have a little bit of leave out i'm out. also sectioning off the front perimeter of my hair which is my two sides so that way when the wind blows or if i want to brush my hair back you won't have to see any tracks or anything it's just going to flow with the hair naturally and as for the rest of my hair all i'm doing is putting my hair into a little bun in the back you can add plaits or cornrows, whatever you want to do to secure your hair and make it flatter, you can do so. And this is just phase one, section off your hair and getting it prepared. Now to install the wig, I'm just sliding on my elastic band to the back as I would with any other wig and I'm just throwing it on. Securing the back clip first and then I'm just lining up my V part wig and I'm just going to clip it in with the clip-ins. There's four clips in total, two on each side, making sure it grips on well and that it's fully secure. Everything is lined up nicely. You see how the parting is. I didn't leave out too much and I didn't leave out too little. So I have enough hair to cover the whole tracks. It also has two combs on the side. So I'm just going to clip those in. And that's all there is to it. The wig is on securely. I'm just combing it through, making sure everything is on nicely. It's tight. I don't have to worry about it slipping off or sliding off. And now I'm just going to go on and blend out my natural hair by straightening it a little bit. I'm only doing one pass with the flat iron because this is kinky straight hair. So I don't have to worry about my hair getting super silky, which I love. Once again, this is perfect for natural hair textures because you don't have to go hard as far as the blending goes. One pass with the flat iron would match perfectly. Perfect blend, perfect blend. You see what I mean when I said I wanted to leave out the sides? That way if I wanted to tuck my hair behind my ears or if I want to do a half up, half down, I don't have to worry about any tracks or anything showing when the wind blows. But look at this luscious hair. It's so soft and pretty. It has a natural shine to it, which I like. All I did was go over it with a flat iron a little bit. You can just stop right there and wear it straight, but I'm going to go in and add some curls just to style it a little bit more and play with it. I also want to make sure that this hair holds a curl as well because I prefer to have a little body to my hair, so I like to add some curls in. And it really do hold the curls, so I would recommend turning your heat up when doing this and taking your time. I do quick flat iron curls because I like mine to be a little bit more loose. But if you want to tie the curl, definitely take your time. This hair is very thick and pin it up as you go. came out so pretty y'all look how bouncy and flowy it is i did this style so effortlessly y'all seen how easy it was to install this v-part wig now i'm just gonna go in and add some edges to my look because i love to add some baby hairs i don't know i just feel like having your edges laid adds a little razzle dazzle to the look like i will forever do my edges some people be like i don't like edges but i really love having my edges out when i have leave out out now as far as wigs are concerned no but when i have my real hair out a little bit I like for my edges to be laid. It just looks more natural. Like, you can't tell me this is not my hair. 
you can't tell me i don't look like an indian cherokee princess like i just look so pretty everything is blending nicely and i also want to show you the versatility of this hair i'm gonna do a half up half down style just to show you that you can do more than just the middle part with a v part wig Like how cute is this bow? This is the perfect accessory for this style because it gives girly girl and playfulness with the loose curls. Not only can this V part wig be worn in the middle, but it can also be worn to the side. So the next style that I'm doing is a side part and it's the same process as before. Just pop it on, secure your clip and blend that leave out. product ladies i hope this video educated you on how to install a v part wig properly and showed you the versatility of this hair all information regarding the hair and wiggins will be in my description please check them out they have so many different hair to choose this from. is by far the best v part wig i've ever had just based off the length the density and the texture i'm gonna give them their 10s wiggins hair is a 10 out of 10 the wig was constructed perfectly and it was very easy to install Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.